Hi, and Merry Christmas. I am here at Santa's Land, originally established in 1957, a park that is still open in 2021. Today I am going to be giving a review of this park and see if it still competes with its 1950s fun. Santa's Land has changed a lot in the past 60 years. Like many amusement parks, it has a history of bankruptcy, closures, and multiple different owners trying to continue the tradition. In 2021, I'd say it's quite run down and has a jolly, though depressing, feel to it, like empty animal cages. But what makes it special and nostalgic is these old antique Santas and decorations from the 50s. I'd actually be sad if Santa's Land turned into one of those modern-day amusement parks. The things for children to actually do at Santa's Land are slim, I would say. The real excitement comes from walking through the entrance to a whole nother world, the North Pole where Santa lives. Meeting Santa is the number one attraction here. There used to be a place where Santa sat in his chair for photos, but this year there was an active Santa walking around the park. I suppose that's best for him to lose some weight. Hello, Santa. Hi. Um, so how long have you been working here at Santa's Land? Uh, forever. Really? Yeah. Wow, so he is the real deal. Ho, ho, ho. So if it's too crowded around Santa Claus, kids always have the option to write a letter to Santa instead. Other exciting attractions included a couple of slides. I stopped. A fun house, though in my opinion it seemed more creepily Krampus themed than Santa themed. <laughs> and now I'm dizzy. Whoa. The world's smallest golf course. And a train ride. It's weird. Oh, the finger off. Um, yeah, but however, the train was not running today. It had some issue. There was also a carousel from Coney Island, but we can't use it this season. One attraction I found interesting was an old church, but I figured only the naughty children would have to sit through that. question for you as one of the kids here at Santa's Land. Yep. Yeah. Um, so, what is your favorite thing about Santa's Land? Well, a train and a slide. The train and the slide. Okay. If you were expecting a discount for the 2021 season, you've got it. However, be aware Santa may be charging closer to $14 for a day pass next year. They also have a gift shop with lots of Christmas souvenirs and cheap toys. Oh, another set. There's one place to get food here, which I tried. Yeah, so the menu seems pretty American, but the prices are on point. Um, the only really Christmassy thing here is hot cocoa, however. So, is it worth coming to Putney, Vermont to visit Santa's Land? Nah, just go to Santa's Village over in New Hampshire instead. Just kidding. This park is very obscure as one of the only amusement parks located in Vermont. If you're traveling through, I'd recommend spending two hours at this park. Many local families have been coming here for generations, like mine, and it's always a fun time, as long as you know what to expect.